what's going to happen now? With all that's going on, what now? I tell you, we are now about to experience the glory of God. You see, Lazarus, we all know, he went from being sick. And when he was sick, the news came to Jesus. Lazarus is sick. He was dying of the sickness. But Jesus didn't move. But his mind was on Lazarus. And he already had a plan for him. And the plan for Lazarus was also not only for him, but for everyone else. You see, when God do things, it's not just for one person all the time. Sometimes he uses one person to reach many other people. And in this case, that's what Lazarus is being used for. You see, Lazarus was sick. And Jesus said that he's going to do this, the way, his plans, so that people would know that he is the Son of God. And that people would know the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. What we experience now is exactly what they experienced then. You see, they waited for Jesus. They expected Jesus to come immediately. Because they knew Jesus to be the healer. And they knew Jesus was the only one that can heal and rise up Lazarus. You see here, he wasn't dead yet. Everybody knew, even back then, even now, when people die, what's on people's mind is over. When something is dead, it's over. There's no return, there's no nothing. You remember at this time, Jesus didn't didn't confuse that cycle for people to say, Jesus is, you know, resurrected from the dead. At this point, Jesus was still walking the earth. So in the people's mind, Jesus didn't come in time to stop death. But Jesus said, Lazarus sleeps. Lazarus sleeps. Lazarus was dead. Now, Jesus got up and said he's going to go wake Lazarus. So that people could believe. You see, God knows the heart. Even compare it to now, God knows the heart. He knows the ones who believe in him and those who do not believe in him. If you would have been here. My brother would not die. And all the people weeping, weeping, wondering, why? What now? He's dead. There's no, you know, they went along with it. You see, God's time is not our time. You know what wonderful thing Jesus said? I'm going to read it for you. He said it just like this. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. Let that soak in. Oh my goodness. So she had faith. And Jesus said to Martha, your brother will rise again. No matter what you're going through, even what's going on, even in this nation. You see, this is the glory of the Lord. Experiencing His mighty works and His power. So He was telling Martha, watch. Watch and see the glory of the Lord. Jesus wept in response 
to the people's unbelief. They didn't believe. It was in response to them not believing in him. They cried because he was dead. They cried because they just knew it was over. They just knew it was over. They just knew it was over. Why? Because according to the time, if someone dies, they just know it's over. There's no returning. But here Jesus, the resurrection, standing in the midst of them. Don't believe him because what? They didn't know him to be resurrection. God wants you to know. God wants you to know him to be the resurrection and to believe that he is the resurrection, that he can resurrect anything in our lives. No matter what it looks like. No matter where the wheels are turning, he is able. Stand strong. When you hear the word of God go forth, and it looked like it went the opposite of what God said, you stand strong. Don't you stop believing. Don't stop believing. Believe. Believe. He is the resurrection and the life. And life overcomes death. Do you stop believing when things seem like it's been dead for so long that it stinks? It's untouchable. It can't be even looked at anymore. It can't be smelled. can't be brought to attention anymore. Do you stop believing then? Oh, no. All you got to do is believe. <laughs> Thou should have seen the glory of God. And he went on and said, Lazarus, come forth. And what did Lazarus do? He came forth. Why? Because he's the word. When he speaks, things must happen. And if God has spoken, come on. It shall be as God said it will be. Not man, but as God said it will be. And everything that was related to death that was on Lazarus had to be loosed off him and let go. And I'm telling you right now, here in America, we're about to experience the glory of God. And everything that is grave clothing or have anything to do with death related to what was attached to death must be loose and let go be strong no matter how long God said his word his word went forth receive his word hold on no matter what it looks like you're going to see the glory of the Lord as we have seen in this chapter when Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. You be blessed. And you hold on. Stay strong. Don't give up. Keep praying. Keep believing. If you need to fast, keep fasting. Keep calling on the Lord. Keep saying that you believe in him and that you receive his promise because he's not a man that he shall lie, nor is he the son of man that he shall repent. God is the everlasting word. He is Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and it will end as God said it will end. But just believe. His word stands with everything as fails. Look at all the decades of new words and new faiths and new ideas and new beliefs and new ways of living has come. New knowledge. It's always been God's word. Never changing. It's the same word. It is what God says it is. Amen.
Amen and Amen.